friends, I'm Kathleen Hansen, and you found my Vocal Warm-Ups with Kathleen YouTube channel. One of the most sought-after vocal techniques is the ability to navigate your break, or passaggio, smoothly. While some styles rightly value the flip as a technique that sounds a bit like a yodel, most singers strive to create a sensation and a sound of what has been come to be known as mixed voice. While head voice and chest voice are two scientifically distinct modes without an in-between, the acoustic and often physical sensation that we label as mixed voice is how we handle our voices right above and right below our breaks. So check out this video as well as the links below for more technical information about that. The vocal warm-ups and exercises we'll be working on today are designed to help coordinate the vocal mechanism on either side of our break or passaggio. Feel free to move these exercises up or down a bit for your best middle range, but I'll cover quite a bit of range as we go today. Start by taking a moment to align your body, whether you're sitting or standing, allow the structure and alignment of the skeleton to do the bulk of the support, freeing up the muscles to have the right amount of relaxation to support coordination. Take a few low breaths, aiming for relaxation as well as mental focus. One of my favorite ways to work through the break or passaggio is using semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. Those are exercises that partially narrow or occlude our vocal tract, giving just a bit of supportive back pressure to take some of the burden off of our small but mighty vocal cords. Let's start on a glide on a lip trill like <laughs> Now, if you have trouble with that lip trill, you can sing this on a v or a zh sound. Here we go. To another semi-occluded exercise, let's sing on a v sound on the following pattern. easier to sing down or descend through a break than it is to ascend. So let's sing mm -hmm. 
We want the breath to feel engaged and the sound to be efficient from the start, then open up when we perform that initial jump. The sensation should be that of a connected sound. Let's double this up so we can sing You can decide whether or not you'd like to take a breath in between. Here we go. I'm going to introduce a variation on an exercise you may have done with me before. We will sing the following pattern. Here we go. This next exercise is another one of my favorite mid-range exercises. We will sing this on a rounded DO. Note the breath pattern. It sounds like this. As this gets higher, you can either choose to continue with me or drop down an octave if you'd like to stay closer to the middle of your range, if that's where the middle of your range is. Here we go.
then with a five note in order to work on the transition from head voice to chest voice, allow the top to feel light and then to be fuller at the bottom. You can exaggerate this just a bit as we go. Again, that's here we go. around now and work on a five note ascending warm-up. We'll start with a lip trill and then move on to a balanced ooh vowel like We can think of this in an opposite manner as the previous exercise and think of getting lighter as we ascend. Here we go. Let's work on a limited range interval exercise and sing money, 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 bo. Think of keeping these vowels neutral and the breath very steady. Here we go. Money, 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 bo. So much for singing with me today. Check down in the comments for some other exercises that you might find valuable as well. Also, I will link to some other exciting things I have going on. I will see you next time.